Now, when it comes to having their dogs castrated, many owners aren't aware of all the options available to them. Louisa Preston went to see how an implant made by Verbach Animal Health is offering dog owners an alternative to surgical castration. Carol Mason has had Alfie since he was a puppy. The four-year-old flat-coated retriever is a family dog, and instead of castration, she has opted to use hormone implants. I was actually very keen on the idea of having Alfie castrated, but my husband was not so keen. And then, having had discussions with our vet, he was recommending the implant, which I'd never heard of before and was very interested to hear about it, and thought that that would be a, a good solution. So uh, we tried it and Alfie's now had three implants. Um, he's now four years old and he's doing very well. Well done, Alfie. Well done, Alfie. This is the slow release hormone implant that reduces the level of testosterone in a dog. It is an injection and it just goes under the dog's skin and it naturally degrades over time. There are two strengths of injection, one that lasts for at least six months and one that lasts for 12 months. I think I see wonderful things as a pre precursor for castration or as a temporary alternative to castration. We're just going to put you up on the table and then give you a little injection. It's, it's rather like a microchip, so it's a single injection, it's a very sharp needle, you just distract them slightly and goes in the, normally the scruff of the neck near where you put a microchip and the job's done. The drug is quite unique. The implant itself, as small as it is, is a slow release system. So it gradually trickles out the active drug, which is called desloralin, and that slowly over a period of the six or the 12 months will shut down the hormones released by the brain that control the testes in the male dog. And we've had dogs which have been implanted for several years now. So it can be you know, repeated for as long as required. The implant has been available in the UK for nearly 10 years and is becoming increasingly popular as vets and owners become more aware of a choice when it comes to castration. Vets need to be aware of what owners want and they need to be aware that they should offer alternatives to surgical neutering. <laughs> By offering an alternative to surgical neutering, such as temporary medical castration, we can get those animals in on a regular basis so we can do preventive health care checks and then use implants as and when they're needed. Maria is a vet nurse and decided to opt for the implant for her young dog. The implant works really well and talking with clients before actually having the implant myself, they were so pleased with the effect they had. It will give you a chance to see what they will be like without having the hormone levels. With people like breeders as well that kind of have to think about their household if they've got multiple dogs in the house. So instead of having to separate animals and jiggle them around, they can just have animals living together but not on a permanently castrated basis. Many dog owners are happy that the implant allows them to keep their options open when it comes to making the decision about castration. Well, the main benefits are obviously the, um, the temperament of the dog is, is much easier to handle and it's not permanent. You can change your mind, whereas castration is obviously um, a permanent thing.